In part one of Adventures in Tech's history of TV, we saw the birth of television and the move to glorious colour. Coming up, the technologies that made TV what it is today. Throughout the history of TV we saw in part one, networks were in charge of what you watched. That all changed with a little thing called VTR. Videotape recorders began life within the TV industry, the first practical example being this Ampex model in 1956, used by broadcasters to take their own programs to be rebroadcast for different time zones. The VR1000, however, which captured up to 60 minutes of footage on 2-inch wide videotape, cost $50,000 and was enormous, making it not ideal for the living room. A decade later, however, the first consumer versions appeared, then followed cassette recorders, ushering in the era of home recording in the 80s, which we loved, even though some early tapes only lasted an hour, meaning if you tried to record a movie, it would cut out halfway through. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I... No! The VCR gave us an early taste of on-demand programming, marking the point where networks started to lose their hold on our viewing habits. TV's next big development would see another new technology enter the frame. For decades, our viewing pleasure had been facilitated by the humble cathode ray tube, but another display technology was waiting in the wings. Experimentation with liquid crystals took off as early as the 60s at RCA. Credited with pushing the technology forward is George H. Heilmeyer who applied current to liquid crystals sandwiched between sheets of glass, realigning their molecules to affect a change in colour. Despite its head start, RCA ducked out of the field it had pioneered, letting other firms, notably Japanese tech companies like Sharp and Seiko, bring LCD screens to the likes of watches, calculators and, in 1988, a 14-inch TV panel. Lighter and massively slimmer than traditional models, nevertheless it wasn't until 2007 that sales of LCD TVs overtook the bulkier CRT sets, four decades after RCA's first experiments. Display tech has continued to evolve, with current flavour of the month an intriguing technology called OLED, a type of display that rose to prominence in smartphones and produces the best picture quality we've ever seen. But the biggest change now facing television is coming from far beyond the screen, lurking in the shadows, ready to change everything. The internet has proved the biggest technical shift in television's history, with programming no longer being to TV sets, but to our smartphones, tablets or laptops via Wi-Fi. A two-way communication that's giving providers of TV a clearer view than ever of what we watch, when and why. The online revolution is the biggest change in how we use TV so far. But for all the change, TV itself endures. We're still just as captivated by moving pictures as John Logie Baird was back in 1926. And it's impossible to imagine a world where that's not the case. So cheers TV, here's to a smaller world, to shared experiences and shorter attention spans. That's the end of this season of Adventures in Tech, but we've got many more exciting videos lined up, so keep it CNET and happy adventuring. <laughs>